Well, good morning and happy Saturday, everybody. It is, gee, now I got to look at the date. 3 6, March the 6th. Man, have you ever gotten to that point? Some days you wake up and you think, now, really, what day is this? <laughs> I get those moments. Maybe it's a part of growing old, but anyway. How is everybody doing this morning? I hope everybody's fine. I was looking out my window, and just before we uh, had a nice snow shower coming in. Uh, it's in the 30s, but it feels more like it's in the 20s. Anyway, it's a, believe it or not, by the middle of next week, it's going to be in the 60s here. I'll take it. At this point in time, I'll take it. And... Uh, if it looks like I'm half asleep, I'm not. I, uh, I'm dealing with this eye situation here. I, it seems like I'm allergic to some eye drops. I got to talk to the eye specialist probably Monday. See if he can uh, change my drops. But anyway, uh, we'll just talk a little bit. It's not going to be a long rant today, but uh, we'll be talking about the party of backwards. Now, who could that, what, what party could that possibly be? What, what political party? I think we all know what it is. And it's the Republican Party. Otherwise known as the Repuculatan Party. Repuculatan? Yeah, Repuculatan. That, that would work. Uh, or the Trumpican Party. That's probably more what it is, Trumpican Party. Uh, even though the main instigator in chief is down in Marlago, he's still finding ways to instigate. He had his uh, CPAC speech, I believe it was last Sunday. What a joke! Same, same shit, different day. That's all it is. So uh, nothing new. Uh, I don't know. I think he wants to run in. 2024, but hopefully he'll be in prison by then. So anyway, I hope you all can see me here. I'm trying to adjust the light. It's, uh, I know some people say I'm bright. I was bright in school, but I, <laughs> I don't think I was that bright. Anyway, um, I think, uh, a good senator years ago, uh, Tom Harkins, many of you probably heard of him, a Democratic senator. Uh, he said it well. Uh, back in 2000, I believe he was running back then, uh, at the Democratic convention, now what he said, and he compared it to driving. I never, I never really quite... Uh, uh, thought of this idea, but he makes a lot of sense. He, he compared the Republican Party to driving. And what he said, basically, he says, if you want to go backwards, you put it in R. You know, like your gear shift or automatic transmission, you put it in R. But if you want to go forward, you put it in D. Do you get it, everybody? R backwards, D forwards. I think he hit it right on the head. How about you? Backwards is reverse, and that's what the Republican parties are doing. They're best known for going backwards. You know, when Clinton got in, he said about the bridge to the 21st century, the bridge to the future, and it was hope there. He actually got our economy going again. I mean, I didn't agree with everything what he did as far as NAFTA and all because it affected my textile job that I was in at the time. But uh, he did get—he did get—he uh, got, he got our economy going again. Uh, but then, of course, I don't know what it is. Sometimes I wonder: Do the American people in general do they just like to go through times of hardship and punishment? Maybe they. Maybe they get tired of uh, doing too well, you know, and they just decide to go backwards. Ah, let's give the Republicans a shot. And next thing you know, they 
they push us down into the bottom of the tank again. No, I don't believe that the American people take pleasure in uh, uh, going backwards or going into a recession. But it just seems to be that way, you know? It's in cycles. We get in a big recession now, we need a Democrat to pull us out. And such is the case right now. We had Donald Trump, who, by the way, <coughs> pardon me, by the way, the, Repu the you know, even the Republican Party, a lot of them, well, I shouldn't say, I don't know how much is a lot, because uh, they were very much afraid of Donald Trump. They were afraid if they said something, and even to this day, if they say something, oh, their political future's in trouble. Don't you know? And um, they're more worried about their political future, a lot of these Republicans. They don't, they dare offend uh, Donald Trump, the dictator wannabe, and in their mind, he's a god. No, he's not a god, but Anyway, getting back, uh, it says here, um, let me see here. It's a good point, and I wanted to give an example here. Talking about going backwards. In the year uh, 2017, the Republicans took control of all the branches of government. That was when Donnie was elected, you know, and oh, yes, we're going to do... We're going to bring the jobs back. We're going to do this. We'll lower your taxes and all. Well, how do they feel about the average worker? Let's take a look at that. It says, in the year 2017, the Republicans took control of all the branches of government. All right? They can't sit there and blame the Democrats now. They had total control of the government. And uh, they shifted the government... Um, head on uh, in a rush backwards to a darker, meaner, and dangerous past. Well, think of it. I mean, I'm, you know, I was thinking as the future is going on here, you know, hey, racism is finally, I mean, you're getting bits and pieces of it, but looks like uh, our young generation today, they finally got a handle on racism. And guess who comes into the picture to ruin all that idea? Donald Trump. Talk about racism. And uh, first thing he does, puts a ban on Muslims coming into the country. And you saw how quickly the people demonstrated on that one. So, yeah, push, push us back into the past. Well, that's what they did here. Um, uh, um, Perfect example was Iowa. The Republicans uh, in, in that state, they stripped the minimum wage from the Democrats. The Democrats had a target of raising the minimum wage back then, okay? They, uh, their attempted target was to raise it to $10.75. And that's in Polk County, P-O-L-K County, Iowa. The Republicans wanted to strip it from ten seventy five, push it back down to seven dollars and twenty five cents. Give me a break. You know, I'd like to see how many of those people could live on seven dollars and twenty five cents. I don't. Well, they couldn't. Uh, they couldn't be uh, jetting all over the country or like Mister Cruz, trying to sneak away to Cancun, Mexico. Couldn't do that on seven twenty-five an hour, but that's what they attempted to do. And also, I got to adjust my light here so I can read. It, 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 I have here it's, it's uh, heartless, and it is heartless. They don't care. I don't. Why would you want to cut somebody's minimum wage? Well, I don't even know if I should ask that question. As long as they have money in their pockets, they could care two shits what everybody else, how they live. But um, they also don't care for unions. Now, most of the jobs I worked in, um, 
I think there was one that I did work, but I, no, one or two. I think the state was another one. But uh, I didn't last there by the time I was ready to go into the union. Um, but anyway, it says the GOP, here, GOP had a, was malicious when it came to workers and teachers affecting union workers' negotiating rights for their future. Well, hell, tie up negotiating rights. Maybe try to cut down whatever rights they have left. And, uh, you know, they don't care. If, but you try doing it to the Republicans once. You know, they work for us, the people. But if you sit there and say, well, I think we need to cut back on your salary. You watch how quick they would respond. Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. We put all these hours in and blah, 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 blah. Like now, what's going on with the, with the bill for the COVID? And uh, I believe the Democrats, uh, the, the, well, the Democrats have a slim majority. But we're pushing ahead. And we have a right to do that because the Republican Party, if they had their way, they totally block it. You think they're worried about the average person getting help? I mean, the COVID virus affected the economy big time. There's a lot of people lost their jobs permanently. There's a lot of small businesses that went out of business permanently. You think the Republicans are worried about those small businesses? You think they're worried about the small working man? No. Now, if you were a big multi-corporation pulling in billions of dollars, well, they, they'd fall over their head over heels to, to help you out. But if you're a small mom-and-pop business, forget that idea. Well, this is how the Republicans operate. And what kills me is, how is it? I have a cousin that's a diehard Republican. And I've told him this before. It's like, you know, you're so worried about the Republican Party and you want to vote to get Republicans in. Do you think they really know who the hell you are? They could care less about you. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know. I'll, I, to me, they're suicidal. If you vote for Republicans, you're suicidal because... They don't have your best interests at heart. They don't. Well, anyway, uh, that's basically all I have here today. It's going to be a short one. I basically covered it. Their whole, the Republicans' whole idea, <coughs> pardon me, is to obstruct and delay. I mean... Who the hell, that, what's his name, Johnson, Senator Johnson was from Wisconsin, I believe he is. <coughs> he had the clerks read over 600 and, was it 600 and some pages of this COVID-19 bill, relief bill. All of that just to trip up the Democrats. People, if there's anything that I've said here today, I want you to remember this. If you're at a voting booth and it comes time to vote, and you're not sure who to vote for, and you, you might uh, look at that letter that's after the name, either an R or a D, and think about it. Do you want to go backwards? If so, vote the person in that has the R. Reverse, going backwards. Oh, and by the way, they don't believe in science. That's a whole other topic. But if you want to go forward, if you want to make sure that we have a future, then you know what you know what to vote for, and that would be the person that has the D after their name. Now, not everybody's perfect. I don't care what party affiliation they're in. But I'll tell you what. 
I would stand behind the Democratic platform any day compared to the Republican platform. Look, just, just look at the Republican platform from 2016, and I dare say it probably uh, was the same for 2020. You know? They want to ban this person. You have to do this, and you can't. And, and they don't come right out and say it, but you know, they, they probably want you to worship the Christian God, too. I personally feel I'm a Christian. I worship God, but I don't force it on everybody. You know, I think that if you're going to sit there and call yourself a Christian, then you have to live it. Christianity is when the rubber meets the road, as far as I'm concerned. Don't sit there and say you're a Christian, like many of Donnie's fake Trumpicans are. Oh, yes, I love God. I love God. But then you sit there and... and uh, throw out hatred against uh, your black and brown brothers and sisters, your LGBTQ brothers and sisters, and don't sit there and say, oh, well, the Bible says, and all the morals and all this. You know what? I like to think what Jesus said when they were ready to stone the adulterous woman. And Jesus just wrote something in the sand. And to this day, we don't know what he wrote. But he, after he got done writing, he looked up at all the crowd and he said, Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. And he went back and he wrote something else. And uh, Pretty soon, like one person left and another person left and Finally, Jesus looked up and nobody was there but just him and the woman. And he said, woman, where's your accusers? She says, no, I don't know, Lord. And he goes, go and sin no more. So, most of the people that Jesus had trouble with were the religious people, just like we have trouble with them today. The religious right. They think they're right, but they're, they're not right. They'd rather control your life, tell you how to live, tell you who in the love. You know, we got to get out of that mentality. And that's why I said, if you vote Republicans in, you're putting that, you're putting that R, in that transmission, so to speak, in reverse. And you're going backwards, and you're going to push the nation backwards. And I don't believe that the American people in today's world want to go backwards. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure this last election proved it. But people remember something. You, you just can't stop fighting. Because every day I put that TV on, I see the Republicans doing one trick after the other. And now they're right in the middle of this battle, trying to defeat COVID and delay it and everything else. My understanding now, it's like five minutes after 11. We're supposed to have a vote, and it's expected to pass. They finally convinced uh, Joe Manchin to, uh, they, they did some change or something to it. And it's going to be like $300, I believe, a week for unemployment, up to uh, September the 6th, I believe the date is. But anyway, they're going to pass it. But remember, people, when the primaries come up, and when 2022 and 2024 come up, just remember, who is the party that gave the most problems in the Congress, especially over this COVID? Who wanted to strip you from getting COVID relief? The Republican Party. They fought the Democrats every step of the way, every inch, thinking up the plan and how they could hold it back and hold it back and delay, obstruct and delay. That's all they know what to do. So it's time, people, remember, they do this shit now. Wake up. When, when voting day comes, we have the power. 
we may not be able to do something immediately. I mean, we, we have a slim majority now in the Congress. But remember, vote mostly Democrats in, because if you don't, we're going to have the same bullshit over and over. The Democratic Party is the party of the future. The sooner you realize it, the better. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, again, thanks for taking the time to listen. Please be sure to subscribe. Like the video, of course, I'd appreciate that. Invite uh, other people to stop by and listen in. And uh, let's see, did I forget anything? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm getting attacked by squirrels, just like my good friend John Brito does. <laughs> I know what you're going through, John. But yeah, he goes like, subscribe, share, whatever. And um, I thank you very much for taking the time to listen. We stick together, people. We can do it. There's a lot that has to be done. We have the advantage this time around. But remember, we have the primaries coming up in 2022. So be informed. Be an informed voter and go out and do what you can to help in your community. People, if they're not registered, make sure they're registered to vote. And fight for your party. Fight for the Democratic Party because they're the party of progression. They're the party of the future. Okay, you have a great day, everybody. And... Uh, I look forward to talking to you all soon. Hopefully I can maybe do two rants a week. I'm, I'm taking my time with it right now. and Plus I have other things I have to do. But uh, anyway, we'll be in touch. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you people soon. Bye-bye.